time travel is always one of the many controversial topics among the intellectual people of our society. It makes you think and raise a lot of questions. Many scientists believe time travel could be possible through interdimensional portals surrounding the world which are not visible to the naked eye. Stumbling upon one of them could transport the person through time. With many time travel stories coming for years, in this video I am going to talk about a bizarre experience of time travel from 1935 which will leave you thinking about the possibilities of this phenomenon. The incident is about a military man who experienced a time slip while flying over an abandoned airbase. Let's begin. Air Marshal Sir Robert Victor Goddard, popularly known as Victor Goddard, was a senior commander in Royal Air Force during the Second World War. You people may have heard of him as he is known for publishing one of the most popular paranormal pictures around, The Ghost of Freddie Jackson. In 1935, Goddard was flying from Edinburgh, Scotland to his home base in Andover, England. It was a weekend visit and on Sunday, Goddard decided to fly over an abandoned airfield at Drem, not far from Edinburgh. Constructed during the First World War, the Drem airfield was not much to see. When flying over the airfield, he reported that the base was battered and in a state of despair. It was overgrown with foliage and hangars were falling apart. The former airport was now farm and cattle grazed where planes were once parked. Goddard continued his flight to Andover and not long after, he encountered a bizarre storm. A storm with high winds and torrential rain with strange brownish yellow clouds. It didn't take long for Goddard to become disorientated and lose the control of his plane. He tried to regain the control by climbing above the yellow clouds, but they seemed to have no end. His plane began to fall. Fortunately for him, that's when something unexpected happened. The clouds broke and he could see the ground again. Off in the distance was the Drem airfield. Goddard realized the storm has caused his plane to turn around and head back towards Edinburgh. As he approached the old airfield, the storm suddenly vanished and Goddard's plane was now flying in brilliant sunshine. This time, as he flew over the Drem airfield, it looked completely different. The hangars looked like new and the runaways were clear. There were four new airplanes on the ground. He instantly identified three of them which were biplanes, but wasn't able to identify the fourth, which was a monoplane, which RAF didn't have in 1935. All the planes were painted yellow and the staff was dressed in blue overalls, which Goddard thought odd since all the RAF mechanics dressed in brown overalls. Strange too that none of the mechanics seemed to notice him fly over. As Goddard changed his course back to Andover, he encountered the bizarre storm again. But this time, he was prepared and managed to stay on the track and complete his journey. After reaching home safely, Victor willingly shared his experience with friends and family. As you would expect, he was met with skepticism and afterward he mostly kept the story to himself. He didn't want anyone to think he was crazy after all. He would later retell it in his 1975 book, Flight Towards Reality. Now here comes the final twist. In 1939, the vision that Sir Victor Goddard saw at the Drem airfield actually came to pass. The RAF began to paint their training planes yellow and a new monoplane, the Magister, just like the one he witnessed in 1935, joined the roster. By that year, even the mechanics overalls had been updated to blue and of course, the airfield at Drem had made a comeback. Had Goddard somehow flown four years into the future then returned to his own time through the storm Let's be honest, how could he have known that Drem would look exactly like this in future? Was Goddard an inadvertent time traveler? Or is there another explanation? Or did he make this up? Goddard strongly believed that he was one of the privileged ones who got a glimpse of the future until his death in 1987. So what are your thoughts about this incident? Tell me in the comment section.